Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back. I got a couple special guests today. A couple of guests are just going to blow your mind. I'm talking Josh Jones, Brandon Smotherman, Agent Autopilot. And you guys would say, I don't know that we will actually blow their mind, but shoot, you may. What's up, gentlemen? Welcome to the channel. Hey, hey thanks man. for having us. Yeah, man. Good to have you on. I uh, We first met, we've known each other for years, right? But we first met in Costa Rica um, on a trip back in the day, which was amazing. I actually still talk about the trip all the time. I'm like, man, Costa Rica was like one of my it favorite spots good. in the world. It was. Yeah. Man. Yeah, it was awesome. Um, and, and what you guys are doing, I mean, what you, what the core of what you're trying to do, you've always done the same, right? You're helping agents, you're doing your thing to bring value to the industry, but you, you, you like how you do it kind of has evolved over time, which I think how agents do it kind of evolves over time too. Right. Definitely. I mean, um, what do you think about that and how's things changed and, and why? Well, I'll tell you, I mean, uh, you know, for a long time, you know, we were agents out there, you know, buying leads, setting appointments, you know, running field appointments. And uh, we grew a pretty big agency doing that um, successfully. And then COVID hit and mm. things kind of turned upside down. And so, you know, being able to create more kind of uh, automated systems, you know, ways for agents to sell virtually or in the field, um, yeah. but just try to automate as much of their business as possible uh, in the marketing and follow-up realm is, uh, you know, what we've looked at and had very good success with. That's good. Yeah. What do you think, Brandon? Yeah, I was just thinking, <laughs> Um, I've spent a lot of years originally just in the field by myself as an independent agent. And uh, I, when I started, I was in the state of Florida. It has to be probably the longest state, I think, in the U.S., right? And and so I was driving. I was in central Florida, so I was driving all the way to north Florida one day, maybe the next day to south Florida. And at the time, I don't know, I was um, – maybe in my late twenties and, and it was pretty much every day I would tell myself in the morning, I cannot do this at least like this, mm -hmm. you know, until I'm 50, 60, there's just no way this is sustainable. There's gotta be a better way. And it took several years to, to start eventually kind of cracking the code to get to a point to where it's like, oh, okay, so I, I can do this and, and add on this automation and then and then add on this this way to, to, to see more people. And the ultimate goal is to have just more presentations throughout the week, whether it's at the door or over the phone. And um, like Josh said, COVID really helped ramp that up as far as building out some infrastructure at least um, technology wise to, to where I'm finally over the past, I don't know, five, six, seven years. Okay. Thank God I'm not driving from Orlando to Jacksonville tomorrow and then Orlando down to Fort Lauderdale the next day. Um, I can yeah. see a light at the end of the tunnel. And I, and I think that's the hope for most agents, right? I, no young agent is, is, is in their mind. You know, I, I can't wait until I'm 67 and knocking 300 doors this week. It, it's just not. So that's what we're really excited about as far as that goes. That's cool, man. That's a really good point. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about it now. I was thinking about it actually recently. Someone's like, man, how long has it been since you've been in the field? I'm like, oh, my gosh. Dude, it's been so long. I can't even remember, you know. And I'm like, it'd be hard now. I'm driving a, a all-electric Porsche Taycan, so I would end up getting lost in, 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 some, <laughs> in some valley of Missouri, you know. I mean, I, I, I wouldn't make it home. Um, but you guys have done a great job along the way of two things if, from my view, right? And, and we'll get your feedback and I want the audience to hear this. Um, first would be from a prospecting standpoint, like helping agents get in front of more people consistently. That's what it's all about. That's the name of the game. Like if agents are getting in front of people, they're not making any money. And if you're out there watching, you're like, you kind of, kind of struggle to get in front of people every now and then maybe these two dudes can help. Right. So prospecting big second would be technology, right? Like our industry is, is always been behind it's old fashioned average age is 59. They're not young people like we are, you know? Um, and I'm creeping up there. So let's be careful. Well, that's true. <laughs> I, I was thinking that yesterday. I'm like, crap, I'm 32, man. I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> I, I, I saw a picture on Facebook eight years ago when I was 24 and I'm like, gosh, I don't even, I don't even look like the same human. Like what happened? <laughs> um, but it is crazy too, from a technology standpoint, our industry is always behind. You guys are doing your part to help us stay at the forefront of that. It's a big piece because it can allow agents to consistently get in front of more people and follow up with people without having to manually do it forever, like the old Rolodex and the old, you know, card box and all the, you know, phone book and all this stuff, right? Mm -hmm. So I'd love for you to love for you to talk about those couple items, man. I feel like you guys have done a phenomenal job at helping agents with those. 
Yeah, I mean, you know, data has really become, you know, the number one commodity on the planet. You know, it used to be energy, oil and all that type of stuff. But now, I mean, you think about it, you know, Facebook, Instagram, you know, all those. I mean, the reason they're doing so well is because they've got all of our information. They can market to us again and again and again. You know, I always think about um, Skype. You remember Skype Skype back in the day? Uh, It got bought by Microsoft for billions of dollars. And it wasn't like anybody didn't have, you know, uh, you know, a VOIP service. They were buying the list, you know, of all the 60 Mm. million plus names they had on there so they could market to those people and you know a lot of agents you know their leads are uh in google spreadsheets or sitting on the floorboard of their car you know somewhere and you've got to have a way to put all that information somewhere so that you can market to them again and again and again and stay in front of them long term you know there's a stat i've read it said that 50 percent of folks that fill out a form for insurance will buy from somebody in the next 18 months Okay, Mm. and unless you want to be calling those folks every other week for the next 18 months, you better figure out a way to automate that. Um, And that's that's the big thing, you know, is if you need to learn to automate as much of your business as you can. And unfortunately, uh, you know, the insurance companies don't make that easy for us. You know, uh, there's not a lot of marketing uh, for us to help with that. You know, a lot of times you got to figure all this stuff out on your own. And so that's why we kind of came in and just, you know, and that happened right around COVID. That was said, hey, we got to build this out for agents. Because huh? I tried to just say, hey, here's what you need to do, A, B, C, D. And a lot of folks uh, have struggled, you know, with just uh, setting it all up. And so building it out for everybody, um, you know, and so that you have, you know, your front end marketing, uh, which is your lead generation, and then your back end marketing, which is, you know, your follow up and nurture and having all that done for you is really going to help agents take it to the next level. Yeah. I mean, I would even struggle, Josh. That's a good point, buddy. I would even struggle specifically with like, okay, you got to go and you got to do this and you got to set up your stuff and you got to, you know, like I, I, I would, that's a lot. Like it can be really overwhelming. I remember trying to build out like a click funnel, no lie back in 2017 talking, I mean, it's just five, five, what, five and a half years ago, I think. And I was like, so overwhelmed. I'm looking at this click funnels, like I'm supposed to do what? Dude, <laughs> I stopped. I quit. I think there's a lot of people out there that like that they, they, they get so close to doing something big and learning and evolving. And then it just they don't understand it. So they just quit, you know. And so that's why I think you guys have done a good thing because you're making it easier. I mean, it's interesting. I used to have I'm the guy that had the leads in a folder or on the floorboard or just, you know, in, or the big application basket like the old uh, crates, you know. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> like that old style back in the day. Um, Brandon, Josh just said something, man, 50% of interest uh, will be, of people will buy in the next 18 months. That is insane. I never heard that stat. I love that stat. Now I'm going to definitely use it more. Thank you, Josh Jones. Um, <laughs> what, what, what are you doing on the agent side to help agents specifically with helping them reach more of that half of people that are going to make a decision in the next 18 months? Yeah, kind of what you alluded to is I think most agents or a lot of agents fail out of sales or in our industry. One big reason I think is a is a, a lack of having a system, probably. So yeah. lack of a, do you have a do you have a sustainable way to get in front of people this week? Do you have a system to follow up with people? Do you have a system to get in the door, get them on the phone, uh, send them happy birthdays, whatever the case may be? It, it's practically impossible. I mean, I, I had years in a row where I sold 300,000, 400,000, just insane numbers at the time. You know, I mean, that's 10 plus years ago. Now I see what, what agents are doing and I'm like, that's nothing. I mean, I thought I thought I was big time maybe for a couple of years, but now I see numbers on Facebook and it's just like, oh that yeah, pales in comparison. I don't know. So uh, at the time it was neat. I was winning lots of trips and I didn't even, th- you know, no one wakes up to be an insurance agent. So I'm telling my wife, you know, a couple of times a year, Hey, we're going, we're flying o- over here. Guess what? I didn't even know that stuff was a part of the industry, but, uh, but agents, I, I think I-, I didn't have time to follow up with people. I had an unsustainable system. I spent 60, 70, $80,000 a year just on leads, but there was no follow up system. So mm. it's, So back to that question on how do you capture more? How how do you become more profitable? Because I think just as as new agents or agents that are struggling, I think we all got into a business like this. Uh, We bought into a dream that can happen if if it's set up properly, and and there's and there's a long term business that you're building. Yeah, and and that's what I like. And so. 
it, it, this is more of a partnership. You know? So coming alongside of, of an agent that is struggling to do it by themselves, you know, and that's what I was for a long time. I kind of, I was, I was really capped at a certain point because at the end of the day, I could only see so many people. I, I can only personally do so many presentations. I mean, I could buy hundreds more leads, but I just, I could work seven days a week, but there's always a cap. Yeah. But when you're able to partner up with um, another organization or and that's what we love to do with our team and anyone that's a part of Agent Autopilot is let's build a long-term business plan almost, you know, you can only see so many people. So how can we help you with some automations maybe, or some reminders or some extra lead generation or creating leads on Facebook through advertising, whatever the case may be, how can we help you do what you can't? And then you're not solely dependent on that one thing. You know, for me for a long time, it was direct mail leads. If those went away or that one source or they came back to me, it was like, hey, uh, you know, we can't get leads for you anymore. I was going to be in a huge bind. But if I, if I, if I was with a, a partner that was also I had built out a presence on social media and, and, and I had consistent informative marketing emails that were going out once a week to all those leads I already bought wow, I still had people reaching out to me and asking questions. And, and, and it was really more of a business instead of just a, a hamster wheel type of thing. I, I, I did trainings um, through the years and I, and I thought, man, what I was really doing was buying so many leads. It was unsustainable. Nobody wants to do that when they're 60, 70, 80. It was, it was like I was driving around every day with a convertible and leads were just flying out. I mean, there were so many that were never contacted. If they didn't answer the phone once, who cares? You know, I'm on to the next door, but it's just not sustainable. And, and so that's why I'm really excited, you know, for agents that got in, they had that dream, right? And, and that's why your conference is so awesome because not a lot make it past that initial dream day, you know, but if you can catch the vision and, and, and be a part of something that helps you build a legitimate business mm -hmm. and not just, you know, I'm, I'm going to call, here's my call day, here's my next day, here's my call day, here's my next day. But if that kind of falls apart and you don't start to establish pillars for your business, you know, here's my marketing pillar, here's my lead generation pillar, here's my follow-up pillar. And, and you've got all these things. It's not only going to sustain you, but into our crazy world when none of us know what's going to happen tomorrow, wars and politics and all kinds of stuff, you can still wake up and be like, wow, I have a business that if this pillar looks a little shaky, I have pillar two, three, four, five. That's okay right now. I think that means a lot for someone that, that really wants to grow and have a long-term business. Yes. Such a good answer, Brandon. Josh, I want to jump to you, buddy. You mentioned Brandon was talking about, um, something that y'all are doing to help agents with, you know, advertising and leads and like getting in front of people. Um, I'd love for you to talk through like a program that y'all have in relation to that. Cause that's the, that's the biggest question we always get is how in the world do I stop giving money to these vendors that I don't like giving it to? I just don't know what else to do. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, let me, let me hit that. I mean, uh, you know, the one thing that we're really offering uh, for your audience is uh, what is called our autopilot ads course. Okay. And what we're going to be able to do it. And, and, you know, uh, there's tons of uh, courses out there for Facebook, YouTube, mm -hmm. Google, all that type of stuff. Um, but if you've ever bought any of them, sometimes they're outdated. Uh, sometimes they're just not keeping, because look, you know, as well as I do that uh, social media algorithm changes every other week. And so you got to stay on top of it. And one of the things that we do is we buy everybody's course. Okay. If they're in their insurance business, if they're in uh, other niches. Um, so we keep up to date. And so what we're going to help agents do is, you know, first off, just, you know, get their, their ads going on the big three, right? We start out with Facebook because if you're selling final expense or Medicare, most of the niches, that's where your prospects are at. They're on Facebook. OK, and you don't have to guess how to set all this up. We've got it step by step. You know, here's how you set up your business page. Here's how you set up your business manager. Here's where you copy and paste this into the ads. And just, you know, before you uh, start to, you know, try to improvise, you know, just follow a proven system. Right. And, you know, some, you know, Facebook's just the great place to start. Now, if you want, you know, a little bit higher quality lead, YouTube is great. Um, and we've got it because people are searching for things. When people go on Google and search, YouTube is what's going to pop up at the top of the screen most of the time. And we've actually got a pretty neat system where if you don't want to appear on video, you don't have to. If you don't want to talk, 
you don't have to. And so we wow. can actually, yeah, it's pretty neat. Uh, where we've got some, uh, I don't want to give all the you know secret sauce away there, but you know, you don't have to talk, you don't have to be on video, and you can still run ads to that. We'll show you how to set up your Google Ads Manager to get that going. And once you've got Google Ads Manager set up for YouTube, it's just a hop, skip, and a jump to figure out Google search ads, okay, where you can run a you know a similar style headline and uh, you know to a landing page like you would on Facebook, and you just do it on Google search. So when they search for it, they're going to see it there. But primarily, you you know, because Facebook's just going to be a lot less expensive compared to the other two platforms. So you start with one, and then you just start interweaving the other one. So that way, you're hitting everybody on all uh, sides, and that's a that's a very neat marketing trick, okay? Because when you're doing marketing and you're just hitting somebody on Facebook, like kind of Brandon was saying, you only got that one pillar. All right. But if you're hitting them on Facebook, Google, YouTube, emails, text, you know, phone calls, now you're hitting them everywhere and you're going to have a much higher chance of getting a hold of those people. And so that's the, the front end mm. part of the marketing that everybody needs. Right. But yes. what about the back end? Right. What about the follow up? You know, what, what, what are you going to do on that? So one of the things that we include when, per, when folks purchase our autopilot ads course, we include two months of agent autopilot. That's our automation CRM. If you go to agentautopilot.com today, we charge, uh, I think our lowest price plan is $299 a month. So we give you two months of that uh, for free. OK, and then now this is special for your audience. OK, and uh, we're going to be running a program. It's going to actually end on Friday. But uh, if they when they renew on that third month, they're going to get two hundred dollars a month off of that for life. So that saves them, you know, twenty four hundred dollars a year. Wow. We've never run any special like that. You know, Brandon and I were talking, hey, what are we going to do special for Cody's audience? And so that's something we're going to throw out there. Now, the question I always get is, all right, well, what's what's Agent Autopilot? How is this going to help me make more sales, right? And so, you know, when you're talking about automation, you know, um, it's hard. You know, uh, I don't think agents yeah. realize writing out, you know, all these emails, all these text messages. How do I connect all this type of stuff? And the beauty of Agent Autopilot um, is that we have built it out all for you. OK, if you sell final expense, Medicare, health insurance, life insurance, mortgage protection, all these uh, systems are built out and in place. OK, and uh, one of the things that we found is you've got to get a hold, especially when you're working any type of digital marketing leads. You've got to get a hold of them quickly. Right. Cody, how many times did you call a lead? You know, it was developed yesterday, the day before yesterday. And they said, I don't remember filling that out. Did that ever happen to you? Yes, it did. <laughs> We've all had that happen, right? Well, the problem is sometimes they literally don't remember, right? You know, they saw an ad and something piqued their interest. Like, yeah, I got to get that taken care of. Um, they fill out the form and then they're on to the next thing right? People do not remember sometimes. Now, listen, uh, if you don't know how to overcome that objection, because you're going to hear it all the time, you should learn. <laughs> I know Cody's got some good information on that. Uh, we've got some training on that inside of Agent Autopilot. It's a very common objection. Even if they do remember, uh, buyers are liars, unfortunately, right? And so they will tell you that. But what we found is that if you can get a hold of people quickly, the chances of closing them go way up. Right. Uh, uh, MIT's actually done studies that says that if you can get a hold of a lead within the first hour of them filling out the form, your chances of closing them increases by 500 percent. It's a ridiculously high wow. number. OK, now. I don't want to have to wait to get a hold of a lead in an hour. I want to be able to get a hold of them in 60 seconds. And so one of the things that we have inside of Agent Autopilot is the quick connect call feature. All right. So imagine you're running ads on Facebook. They fill out that form. Now, no, one thing to keep in mind is, and you probably know this, uh, Cody, but when people are filling out, you know, Facebook ads or uh, leads on there, 98 percent of them are doing it on mobile. OK, mm. they are on their phone when they're filling out those ads. All right. Good. So if we if we know that they're on their phone, that's important because we want to call them. Right. And so what we're going to do, the lead is going to drop directly into Agent Autopilot immediately after it gets filled out. We've got a direct integration with Facebook. And if you're using landing pages, obviously, we can do that as well. It's going to drop in there. It's immediately going to shoot them an email It's because it says, uh, you know, got it, which is a great subject line. If you're sending out your own emails, got it. They open it. Got what? You know, they open it up. Uh, the 
they'll look in there. And the neat thing is, and I don't know how it all works, uh, but the phone companies or somebody, they're reading our emails, okay? Because if you open an email and somebody, and in the signature, it's got Cody Askins and your phone number at the bottom. When you call me, now my phone knows that, right? And it's going to say maybe Cody instead of just some random phone number or spam likely. So we send out that email, right? They're already looking at their phone, okay? They just filled out the form. They got the email. Well, there's always a second notification that comes from the email. At that time, that's when Agent Autopilot is going to call you. Okay, it's going to say, hey, you've got a new Facebook lead. His name's Cody Askins. His favorite hobby is helping insurance agents grow their business. He lives at such and such address. Press one to connect. All right. You press one. It's immediately going to call them. Now you're connecting with that lead within the first 60 seconds. OK. And it's going to blow up. I mean, th that's really when I went to set out to create Agent Autopilot, that was my plan. How do I get a hold of these leads fast? Right now. We all know folks are not always going to answer the phone. You're not always going to be available. Sometimes leads are going to come in after hours. So then what? Well, this is where Nova comes in. And this is, we, we've spent years building this out. Nova is our appointment setting artificial intelligence. It's uh, developed on Google's Dialogflow uh, uh, platform. And what it's going to do is it is going to immediately text your prospects. It's going to tell them why you're reaching out. It's going to wait for them to respond. It's going, if they come back with an objection, it's got rebuttals for those. It knows what to say. It's going to then check your calendar availability. And it integrates with your Google Calendar. And then it's going to do what we always do, right? Hey, is 10 a.m. or 2 p.m. work better for you? It's going to offer them a couple time slots. And then when they come back and say yes or 10 or whatever, we've got all sorts of, uh, you know, uh, we've recorded uh, all sorts of different iterations to the responses. It will automatically book that appointment, drop them into the appointment reminder campaign. So, and it does this hands off, right? It is a neat, neat tool. And uh, I mean, awesome. you can drop in any type of lead in there, not just fresh, but age leads across the board. Uh, Nova will self schedule about 9.8% of your leads into appointments. Okay. Without, Say it again. Say it again. It will self schedule 9.8% of your leads into appointments. Wow. A lot of those you will have already scheduled uh, because a lot of those are getting filtered out because you're calling them. Right. Um, yeah. I imagine it would schedule more if uh, the agents weren't getting in the way, scheduling them their, themselves. Um, and a lot of times they'll schedule directly from the ad itself as well. So mm -hmm. but just the automation itself, whether it's an age lead, a fresh lead, 9.8 percent across the board. It's pretty neat. Um, and we've optimized this. I mean, we've run over 200,000 leads through this system. OK, we know every way they can possibly reply to every different objection. Um, and we're always adding to it. You know, AI is uh, uh, it's great, but it's never going to you know, be perfect. You know, if it does, everybody's like, well, if you can do this, why don't you uh, why don't you just do that by yourself and just let the AI do it? I was like, once I figure that out, you're not going to see me here talking to Cody anymore. OK, we're going to let the AI do all that for you. All right. That's right. So, That's you know, uh, the, the, the key is, you know, quickly getting in front of people and then letting the automation and the AI do the work for you. OK, now that doesn't mean you're never going to have to jump in. That doesn't mean you're never going to have to dial. But if you can eliminate, you know, 10, 20 hours a week worth of prospecting, how awesome is that? It's amazing. So we've got we've got some other things in there. Um, you know, everybody needs to make dials. We we know it. Um, and one of the things we yes. created, you know, there's tons of power dialers out there. We've got it integrated into our system, but we created a double dial pipeline. Now you probably talked about double dialing before. You've done that. Just in case you guys aren't familiar. Um, Make sure you start doing this because this will change everything you're doing as far as appointment setting and get a hold of leads. You call them up uh, when it goes to voicemail, hang up, wait a few seconds and call them again. Pretty, mm -hmm. <laughs> pretty important. Right. But the thing is, is that, you know, sometimes people get that call and they're like, I don't know who this is. Right. And when you call the second time, they go, oh, this must be important. And they will answer. And so our system tracks that. It'll move them across the pipeline for that. Um, if you do sell Medicare, um, our system will actually record all the calls. Uh, as you guys know, if you've been paying attention to all the CMS guidelines, you're going to have to record that. So outgoing incoming calls will all be recorded in our system and tracked in there. Um, if you do sell Medicare, some of the neat features we have, we have a what's called a T65 nurture campaign. Now, 
everybody that buys Medicare leads, they're like, I want that turning 65 lead. I want to get them first, right? Well, what if your old leads, what if your final expense leads, what if your U65 health leads, what if eventually those people are going to age into 65, right? Well, in our system, it tracks that. When they're six months out from their 65th mm -hmm. birthday, it starts reaching out to them and start telling them about Medicare, okay? You talk about, you know, Brandon was talking about having that pipeline full and having that pillar. That's your long term. When you build this audience of prospects and leads that you can reach out to again and again and again, this is going to be helpful for years and years to come because agents buy or develop or buy thousands and thousands of leads over the years. But eventually, if you've got a system that just keeps reaching out, you know, it's going to be great for you. And so on top of that, you know, it is a CRM. It's an auto, uh, It's a audience builder tool. And so, when your leads are coming in, it's going to be sorted out, uh, organized uh, in a in a great fashion for you, so that you can find them later. But we also have a 75 week reengagement sequence. Why 75 weeks? That's 18 months, basically, right? <laughs> if I know that leads are going to, the 50 percent of these leads are going to buy from somebody in the next 18 months, I want it to be me. And I want an automated way to stay in front of them. That's not all salesy, okay? All of us are on email lists that, you know, all they do is sell, 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 sell. And guess what we do? We always delete those emails. But uh, you're talking about click funnels. Uh, Russell Brunson designed this thing. It's called the Seinfeld sequence, where 80% of the content is just fun, engaging stuff that they would like to open. And then 20% of it is salesy. So that way you're staying in front of them because, Here's what happens. Is this ever happened to you, Cody, when you were out there selling insurance? You go into a house and they've got three insurance policies by three different insurance agents. Um, what happened there? Why did the first agent not get all three policies? Mm. They didn't stay in front of them. You know, they needed more insurance. Their daughter needed some insurance. Their sister needed them insurance. And so if you have a way to stay in front of them, that's going to help. Another thing on that was we have a referral generator campaign. All right. Again, the same idea. People, you know, they will they will buy more insurance. And so we just have little fun texts and emails and stuff that go out on their birthday, different holidays, and it will blow your mind. Your clients will reach out. Hey, my sister needs some insurance. Hey, I was thinking about adding some more. My granddaughter, I need to get her a little policy. And it'll just start blowing you up. I mean, every time there's one of those holidays that go by, uh, agents are always reaching out. Man, I sold three policies just off that text that went out. But the key here is that all this stuff is automated. You know, it's built out for you. You don't have to do anything. Um, you know, if agents don't have a website, it does come with its own insurance website. Uh, it's got all the different tabs for the different niches that they maybe offer. It's also got very high converting landing pages. Uh, if you don't know what the difference between a landing page and a website, a website's kind of like a business card. You know, here's what I offer. Here's what I do. Here's my contact information. Reach out to me. Whereas a landing page is just about collecting their information. It has one direction they can go. Hey, you're looking for this? Fill out your name, email, phone number right here. I'll get back to you, right? And we've got all that built in there. But another thing that we're going to do for your audience is, look, it doesn't matter how good, you know, you get set up, you're figuring out Facebook ads, you're figuring out all this marketing, even though most of it's done for you, you're never going to be a marketing genius overnight, right? But you need to make money today. And so we include the quick start lead package. These are 200 overflow leads. You know, you, you see different vendors selling them for six bucks, nine bucks, 11 bucks. We include 200 of them with your, uh, and we drop them into Agent Autopilot. Now remember, 9.8% of those are going to schedule into appointments, you know? Um, even if you got a bad batch and only 5% did, you're still talking about 10 appointments getting scheduled on your calendar. You get half of those no-show you. Well, now you're giving five, six, seven presentations. If you got husband, wife in there, you make two or three sales. Well, I mean, how much money do you make when you make two or three sales? You yeah, know, good. I mean, 1500 2000 maybe. And it, it's more than enough to pay for everything. And you get that just right off the start. And so, again, I mean, the whole package here is that that front end, which is your marketing, your lead generation, you're going to learn how to do that on your own so that you're not dependent on the lead vendors. And then you've got your back end follow up nurture campaigns that are just going to turn your leads into appointments for years on end. It's good, dude. That's so good. <laughs> Brandon, he's, uh, Josh has got that down, man. That's strong. Yeah. I was just thinking, uh, that's a lot of information and, and we're agents first. I, I think that's one thing that really sets us apart. Yeah. Uh, I, I think, 
you cracked the code as far as when you started um, on Facebook and leads and different things, you were the first to the game. And, and I feel like that's for us in a way, I think we were one, one of the first to the game in our industry w- with, with this type of stuff. Now, obviously, even myself, when I log into Facebook, I try not to be on t- tons of social media because I have enough drama at home, you know. But when I am on, I, there's all these sponsored ads, right? We'll build YouTube ads for you and, and Facebook ads and different things. And, and as Josh was talking, a lot of that can maybe sound repetitive or it, different things like that. And But we're agents first. And as far as like I've, we've sold tons of policies, we built an agency, we trained agents, we've done seminars. And, and so I think we really have a good handle on what is it that's really going to help an agent? You know, we didn't come from a college to learn marketing and now we're trying to capitalize on an industry and take advantage of maybe a missing piece. So as Josh is sharing all that stuff, I'm thinking, wow, what does this do for me as an agent? Just in plain speak. And and as I was thinking, I'm going back to being in the field full time. This absolutely cuts out the middleman. Cuts yeah. it out. I am now in full control of my business. Mm. I'm not dependent on anyone else anymore. I am in control of the marketing. I have, Josh makes fun of me sometimes. I have trust issues. <laughs> so, and this is absolutely the fact, I think for any of us, when when you're putting putting out money to buy leads from someone, I think we all have, I, I talk to lots, lots of agents all the time, in the back of our head, like, is this random stranger who advertised to sell me leads, really doing what he said he's going to do. Like, did he just give these leads to a bunch of other guys that are in my backyard? Are they really fresh? Did he promise them that when I get there, they're not going to get like a Walmart gift card? I don't know any of that stuff. And and I have doubts in my mind. But, but with a setup like this, it removes any of those doubts. There's 100% visibility. It's happening inside of your own Facebook account. You can change the password anytime. You know what the advertising says or doesn't say, who responded to it. You're in complete control. It's like a, a legit business. And I, so I always go back to like, uh, we all got into this business probably by accident or your family's in the business. So that's pretty cool. But a lot of us, you, you know, if, if we just were the first person in our family, and we had a dream at some point of, of growing a successful business and, and making an awesome life for our families and these things. And unfortunately, that, dr- that dream dies pretty quick for a lot of agents. And, and so this tool to, to cut out the hamster wheel, cut out the middleman, and, and right from the beginning stages, you don't have to be one of the 8% because you are effectively really building a business. You know, you got your marketing piece. I just go back to those pillars. You know, I, I didn't go to business school. I went to theology school. I don't know how that helps other than try to do the best thing for people. And I need a lot of God's grace. I don't know what that means, but uh, there's God. I'm sure they teach like pillars, right? You definitely have to have a marketing piece to, to have a business. You know, you definitely have to have an organiz- organizational piece. You know, is your is your crap organized? For most great salespeople, you know, I thought I was one for a long time. I won trips. You're not organized at all. The convertible piece, my leads are flying out everywhere. I don't know who I talked to yesterday. I don't know who I sold. I just want three more sales today. That's it's so all these pillars long term and and for me, sales is hard enough. You get all the rejection, the anxiety, all these different things. You gotta wake up and go out and hunt again tomorrow. And so just the peace of mind with with something like this, like, oh, I'm not reliant on someone's random ad on Facebook that says they're gonna get me good leads or something. I know what my business is and what it looks like and what I'm building. So even just the brain space of peace of mind for me personally, I was like, it's just always worth its weight in gold, I think. Yeah, Dude, that's good, man. I love the convertible piece. That's a phenomenal visual of just your leads flying everywhere. Like that's, that's solid. <laughs> Crazy. Um, oh. Guys, this is so, so, and so impactful, man. A new appointment setting tool to help agents. Like I love this. This is so strong. I appreciate you sharing so much uh, incredible value. Um, what did we not share that we want to make sure we share or what do you want to reiterate or where can agents, and we'll make sure we throw it in the description below, but where can agents learn more? Yeah, I mean, uh, agentautopilot.com uh, forward slash ads program. Uh, well, yeah, hopefully you'll put that in the link down there. Sure. Uh, running that special, like I said, until uh, Friday. Um, I think you might be sending out some emails on that to folks as well. Um, yeah, uh, you know, one thing that Brandon uh, brought up, and I, I always talk to agents about this and I forgot, you know, 
it is, you know, we read books, maybe you've read Go for No, and I know that was real transformative in my thinking that, oh, man, you know, well, if if I'm the best salesman out there and I'm closing 25%, that means I'm still going to have to take 75 no's out of every 100 leads, mm. you know, to get somewhere. But uh, I don't care who you are, man, that gets to you after a while, you know. Um, but when you can let automation and AI weed out all those tire kickers off the start, Oh, man. Now you only have to worry about the 25 percent that were actually interested in the first place, or at least right now. Right. And it, it just it helps so much. You know, that that's what we want to do. We want to create a system that's just going to help agents, you know, with their marketing, their prospecting, their follow up. And man, if it can help you with your mental health, too, uh, all, all so much <laughs> the better. That's right. I love it. I love it. That's phenomenal. Brandon, anything in closing, man? Josh, thank you. That's that's so, so good, man. No, I just think. Um... If you're tired, I think if you're tired of being out there on an island by yourself, uh, maybe that's one piece we didn't talk about as much. Uh, I mean, there's a laundry list of practical tools that this would help you with, but just the islands by yourself, it's really difficult. I think uh, a lot of organizations will pitch a dream to someone and then they just let them fend for themselves. Like you're off in the middle of a pack of wolves trying to figure this thing out. And, and so I think we've maybe accidentally done a good job about this or with this is creating a sense of community. You know, the, the weekly calls, um, the availability, the extra training uh, again. And it, it helps that we we've been agents for a long time. We've been on award trips with Cody Askins. I mean, to Costa Rica and, and all these things. And so they're able to maybe the organization that you're a part of. Um, and not to throw stones, but the, but you're, there's missing pieces there that, that would help you, you know. And so if you can get off the island and get back to mainland and now you're in a, an extra community of support that's helping you get from from um, this island or A to B to C to D to, to help you further along your journey and, and you're not by yourself. Uh, that's another piece of this that I think is 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 really important. There's a lot of agents dying on the vine, and um, I and, and I think we've created lots of space um, to help with that as well. And so that's another really exciting piece. That's Community. Good. Yeah, that's right, man. It's so important. I mean, you're right. People, so many people are out there alone, and if you're out there watching, you're like, man, dude, I feel like I'm on a complete island alone. You know, then hey. Maybe that's why that's why you watch the videos and check out the channel, right? Because maybe yeah. Brandon and Josh can can help you along the way. We'll make sure we throw that link in the description below. So if you're watching this, you're like, man, I like these dudes. They're speaking my language. I want to check them out. Click the link below and check it out. Brandon and Josh, thanks for everything you do with Agent Autopilot. Thanks for everything you do with the industry. And I appreciate you sharing some incredible wisdom and knowledge and dropping some massive bombs that I didn't even know about today. Thanks for yes, having us, man. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Appreciate you guys and all, all those listening and watching. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Check out the link below. Hey, if you enjoyed this, I got another one you're going to love. It's right there. Click on it. See you in there. Welcome back to the CA YouTube channel. I love finding special guests that know special information and that can help everyone as they are trying to blow up their business. This cat I got today. Okay, he, he, he may not even love being called a cat, but I'm telling you, this dude is impressive.